Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Supergirl, season number 5, episode number 9. This is Christ of the Infinite Earth, part 1. Episode directed by um, Jess Warren. In this episode, he's pretty much just starting off the crisis. Just starting the crisis, you're getting all the, all the heroes, pretty much starting the heroes coming together. I mean, you got, um, you have, you have, I mean, you have um, Supergirl, you got Clark, you got Lois. And, and, and the thing is though, they're trying to pretty much, um, they're trying to warn Clark that his plane is about to get destroyed, and then this is like in Kryptonian fashion, they only have one pod left, and, and all they can do is save their baby. Just like Clark was being saved on his home planet, and now, now, now they're going to save Jonathan on this planet until he sends him down to Earth. Which is like, wow, it comes full circle. And while, you know, this is the thing. People on, um, on Argos, didn't they learn last time? Um... Their plan they got destroyed last time. How about you make more pods or just make a huge ship? What? What is? Wh why? Again? You know, you, you know, your people should be prepared. You only make one ship, just just for a baby. Again? But it uh, came full circle, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But Clark and Lois did manage to, to escape because of the help of the um, of Harbinger, who's the, the, the Harbinger now. Who's the, so now, so, so they managed to escape. Everybody else died. So. Again, Mercury Tony is dead. That's so sad. But but the, but the thing the Harbinger managed to pretty much get um everybody on, on board and everybody get most get we got she got Barry there she got Batgirl there I mean she other heroes there the people coming together the people that try to stop and try to save the day and you got Green Arrows and something telling everybody that he he's gonna die he's coming to stop his fate and then Barry tells him that oh I, Monitor told me I was gonna die he says like, say what say what. And so now, so they they have a little discussion to fix for this situation. But in the end, yeah, he does um, go. Yeah. Yeah. So, but overall, this was great. It was great for the great first start to to to, to, to the whole crisis situation because it it starts off with um showing you all the different Earths and different different worlds like that too. Like you have Burt Ward who plays the who played um Dick Grayson and Robin in in the um the Adam West Batman series and seeing him there was great. I mean also you got to see um 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 Robert Wall, Wall who played um Alexandra Knox in the Batman movie with Michael Keaton. You saw him in here I just yes I mean they all died though but still you got to, you got to see him. I just like yeah I mean he even did the whole holy Thing, Batman, thing, that's this person. I said, oh, I like that. I mean, overall, just watching the watching the team come to, come together, watching them fight these bad guys, and watching everything that happened in here. I, I, I really did enjoy watching this, this team come together. It, 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 it's this thing. This thing feels really going like it's going to be epic. Really, really, really epic. They take a lot of stuff from like from the comic book, from the comic books, like that too. They put it in here. Homages to the, to the TV shows. I really do enjoy that. And it, it doesn't feel like it's forced. It feels like it, it works naturally in here. And I really do enjoy that. Um, watching how, how everybody respond to one. Like you got Batgirl, who um, this is like her first time doing a, a um. With, with this whole epic crossover situation. And so seeing her like as a new person in here and how she how she adjusts into the situation, it, it was very touching, very moving at, at times because you have you having Clark having a heart to heart with Kara. He's feeling guilty that he that he pretty much thought he could give up this life and actually just raise a family and it, it realizing that that was no, that's not the case. He always feel guilty that the fact that he that he, that he tried to do that. Cause it cause the thing is though, he has all this power and he was he was sent here to help Earth, and he felt he felt as though he could just leave it to Kara. She could take care of it, and then he could just move on and live his life. And now this whole crisis where she came in, and, not, and he couldn't he couldn't uh, he must he felt like he could he couldn't save many people that he could have if he was still there. And in fact, he felt he felt like he, he being punished for, for for thinking he could pretty much um just just live a normal life and, and not be a hero anymore. And I watching Kara come to his aid in that situation. So and you also got, got um. Alex and Lena working together. The people are trying to um, make a, a, a teleportation device or make something, a craft enough to, get, to help the people get off of Earth so they can find a place, a safe place so they can go. And watching uh, pretty much John, um, Alex, and them, and, and then also Brainy work together and with also help a Dreamer and also with the help of um, with Kelly helping out as well as she, much as she can to help people evacuate and, and leave the planet before things go to Willy Wonka. Yeah. So this is a great first start to, 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 the, to the whole crisis series. 
very emotional scene, especially towards the end when you have, um, well, Oliver dies. Yeah, which that was sucked. And the messed up part was that uh, you finally, you have, you, have his, you have his daughter finally getting her father. She finally gets his father in her life. And then she loses him. And also, he pretty much passed on the mantle on to the being the Green Arrow to her, too. And something that she wants, but at the same time, knowing that she, her father has to die for her to get it, it's not something she's quite, quite, quite ready for. I mean, even though she's the being the hero thing, she's down for it. She wants to do that. But the thing is, though, she thought she would be the hero fighting alongside her father. Maybe he'll die of old age eventually. Not dying here and then losing him. And then I got now I had to take up the mantle. Not, 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 not that way. Like, no. 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 Yeah. But you have, you have, um, you have, um, Lila here as the harbinger. And you also got a little bit of Nash, who, who's Pariah. I'm not, I don't know who Pariah is in the combo. I don't know who he is. I'm not sure about the whole contest up that much. I'm not, I'm not an expert on, 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 DC, on DC comics, but I, I, mean, he probably, I know he paid something, something important. I don't know who he is, but. But seeing, her, seeing um, Lila playing, doing her new, new, new role pretty much as the harbinger of the, of the monitor. So, yeah. But overall, like I said, good, great episode. Great first start. The balances of the homages to everything was done quite well. Looking forward to the next episode. Yeah. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Supergirl. Or well, I should have just say Crisis of Infinite Earth Part 1. What you thought about this episode here. So, if you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy having watching it too. So, give my channel a big like. Hit the thumbs up. Share boop. And subscribe to my channel. And share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say in my junior life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.